Hi. I'm Mrs. McStud. Mom! What? Why? What are you doing? Oh my God. What are you doing? I'm just trying to drink malt liquor. What? That's all I'm trying to do. We're drinking malt liquor? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, I want to drink some. Did you bring some for me? No. Who's it for then? Me. Well, who's the other one for? You. Me? McStud. Where's McStud? You took his place tonight. Ew. What you doing, Mom? Oof. What the fuck? What? Why you put that all on my face? Oh, sorry. Uh. Hi. This sounds fun. Can I give you a malt liquor video with you? Yeah. Oh, I'm 21. I can drink. <sighs> Sweet. FFS. What do you got here? Mom's got a Colt 45. It works every time. Oh, my God. You know what else works here? Does this work every time, babe? Ah! Mom? Mom, does this work every time? Come here. Does, ah! it, does it work every time, Mom? Ah! Mom, does no, it work every no, time? No, no, I touch it a lot. We touch it? No. Oh, I touch it about no. 30 times a day. Oof. I don't want to hear about that shit. I got stuff in my hands. Oh, God. oh so this is mine? That's yours. King Cobra? King Cobra. <gasps> That's what the uh, daycare woman says I got. <sighs> a King Cobra. That's nasty. Yeah, Mom. Sweet. Oof. I'm going to drink a King Cobra with a King Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> Malt liquor. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. You know what I did all night? What? Well, I was watching Netflix, and I was watching a show. Uh, I forget what it's called, but it had boobies. Oof. It had boobies, and then my cobra started spitting. Ah! So I had to go to the bathroom and, and get the spit out. That's disgusting. What liquor? You're so weird. Then I went back and I still had it paused in the boobies and it spit again. <sighs> so for the next hour and a half, I was just getting spit out of the cobra. Uh, FFS. Yeah. That's ridiculous. I had to put some Ben Gay on. Ah! It was a little sore. Did it burn? I couldn't feel it at that point. <laughs> like I had uh, kind of sensitized the cobra. I think you need a flashlight. Can I have one for Christmas? No. Will you buy me one? No. I don't have a job. I'm not helping you jack like, your Kong, King Cobra. My Kong? <laughs> oh, Mom called it a Kong. That's hot. <laughs> Ew. Mom, that's dirty. <laughs> <sighs> that's for Aunt B. Oh, Lord. What? No, no, no. She said, if Uncle Jim's out of the house and I do my chores, the Cobra's hers. That's just wrong. One time she got stuck in the dishwasher, so I had to help her out. And she said, the only way to help her out was to put my cobra inside her crevasse. And I was like, well, where's your crevasse? She's like, lift up my skirt. And I'm like, okay. And I saw this slit. And I'm like, is it right there? She's like, yeah. But I put it in the wrong hole. And she screamed and like knocked her head open a little bit on the dishwasher. So I put it in the right hole. And then she bled out. And then we had to get to the hospital. And that was a mess. Ew. Yeah. Malt liquor. Yeah. <sighs> this is what I live with daily. Oh, How was your day, Mom? It's good. What'd you do? Slept all day. Really? Me too. Watch TV. Did uh, did Grandma make a meatloaf? No meatloaf. Have you seen Barry lately? I haven't got to play with him for a while. Is no. He, is he still in Grandma's basement? Probably. Oh, oof. I don't. He might need help. What does he help with? With his cobra spitting. He doesn't have a cobra. Grandma says. <laughs> Grandma says he has an M&M. Ew. One of those peanut M&Ms, kind of extra long. So it's got two peanuts in it. Yeah. <sighs> or Barry. Oh, so I, I tried sword fighting once, but his peanut went in my urethra. Oof! <laughs> and he, had, he gave a little peanut juice in my pee hole. It was kind of gross. Ew. So I had to make the cobra spit again to get it out. Oh my god. Making a cobra spit. He's like, it's kind of like docking, but I'm in your pee hole. That was weird. You are weird. You're weird. You're weird. I was thinking, Mom, I think I need a new pair of pants. These are getting a little tight. I guess you better get a fucking job. Eesh! Look at that. I got cake. I got cake for days. Malt liquor. Get that shit away from me. <laughs> Eesh! What is your fucking problem? Can you put that shirt down at least? I, it won't go down It's not supposed to be a fucking belly shirt. That's all I got. I got one shirt and one pair of pants. 
anywhere but seven days. Because you take all my child support and you go buy nails and <laughs> and malt liquor. That's a negative. <laughs> and sometimes I'm lucky just to get a half a bag of ramen noodles that aren't cooked. Do. Yeah. Could you use something like a tax season, bitches? Take the kids to the babysitter. We're going out and getting our hair did. Oh. <sighs> no. So I went and I, uh, you know that hairspray you got in there? Mm -hmm. I sprayed it in my pubes and straightened them out so they're like spiky, like punk rock spiky pubes. Why would you do that? There was something to do. Oh. It was hard to masturbate. I don't understand. Because your hands hit the pokey points and it kind of hurts. You're like, I don't oh. understand you. <laughs> what? What? what happened? Straighten pubes. Did you watch the XFL today? No, I forgot what day it was. Illegible. Tell um, us now. Yeah, I tried to watch the XFL, but it was nothing like I thought it was. I thought it was going to be football. It is football. Not what I put on. You probably it was like it's it was like the extreme fucking league or something. <laughs> so it was like a whole bunch of oh. dudes like running a train on each other's buttholes. I was like, hey. FFS. Call a flag on that play. He, <laughs> he tore that man a new one. Oof. Yeah. And then there was just sperm flying everywhere. I was like, hey, I don't like the XFL anymore. I probably wouldn't either. You need some work on those teeth. Well, you won't take me to the dentist. You said we don't have insurance. You're overage. Overage? Yep. No, okay. As long as I'm in college, I'm still under your insurance. <clears throat> That's ridiculous. I go to the school of hard knocks every day, so I'm pretty sure I'm not I still qualify. Holding insurance on you whenever you're fucking over 21. I'm not holding insurance on you until you're fucking 26. Well, the last time I went for a job interview, as soon as I walked in, they told me to get the fuck out. What'd you wear? This. I even That's the only pair of clothes I have. Oof. And I don't have shoes, so I just wear socks. And there was a sign that says, no shirt. No shoes, no service. And I was like, fuck, well, maybe I can work here and serve people since I'm not the one being served. And he's like, you walked in our establishment with no shoes, get the fuck out. Plus, those pants are way too tight. <laughs> I had to go, mom won't buy me a new pair. Oof. That's probably why you didn't get a job. So I didn't get a job. So if you want me to get a job, I need an outfit. Well, that doesn't sound good. Well, shit happens when you're probably naked. What? I just need a break. What's well, tomorrow? Monday. You gotta go back to work? Yeah. Oh, so I gotta sit at home all day by myself? Yeah, but that means you just... Ooh, hey, never mind. You get spit out of your cobra. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I tried to... I noticed that big hole in the sink we have. You know, when you turn the, the light switch on, it makes a loud gurgle. I thought that might be some stimulating thing, so I'm gonna stick my cobra in there and turn the thing on and see if it, like, uh, makes it spit even more. That's a blade. What's a blade? That spinning thing. What spinning thing? I didn't see it. There's a hole in a light switch and it makes a loud gurgle. Yeah. Go ahead and say your penis in there. Okay. It'll fillet it. What's that mean? Take the skin right off. Why? Oof! Like, the, my, uh, uh, am I... Yeah. The skin off? Yeah. Why? Because it's a blade. Why is there a blade cuts, in there? That cuts food up. Why would we have that in the kitchen sink? Why don't we cut food up on the counter? Well, people don't stick their dick in kitchen sinks usually. Why? Because that's not normal. It's called a garbage disposal. You stick your dick in there and you won't, might not have one. Oh, so we can throw our trash in there and we'll tear it up? No! Just you say garbage okay, disposal. food. And like chunks of food. Well, who puts that in the sink? Why don't you put it in the trash? You do? I don't. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Every day. No, I don't. I'm sitting there in water. I thought that was like a sex toy you and Dada got. Eww. You play with and you like hit it in the kitchen like an extra secret place that no one ever think of. No. I thought I figured out the secret to it. No. That's ridiculous. I'm confused. <clears throat> Mall liquor. Um, so, yeah, it was a very nice day today. It was like 55 degrees, and I'm sure it's a big improvement because it's been like 30 or 20 and yeah. like 18, and it feels like 12. 
man, I'm sorry, but going outside and trying to stoke the cobra with the 12 degree wind chill is hard. And I thought it'd be cool, like, if I got my dick wet and I stuck it on the mailbox. It's not an earring. I thought that was my earring. Oh, I, I... What? Yeah. That's an earring? Did you stick that in your pee hole? No. That's disgusting. I did not. You're a weird person. <clears throat> stick your dick in places that don't go. Stick shit in your urethra. In your pee hole. I don't just stick things in. Barry just like said, let's do it. I'm like, what's that? That's weird. And he stuck it in and, and got a little nut juice in it. I'm like, what is it? So I had to stroke my cover to get it out. I don't want his nut juice in my urethra. I don't want you to talk about stroking your cobra for nut juice. It was Barry's nut juice, not mine. Oh. I wanted it out of my pee hole. Oof. Why are you so weird? He told me to be okay. Well, your dribbling everywhere makes that does not do that. What was that show you guys were watching earlier? Going to bathe. What were you guys showing about, that, about the Green River? Are we going to the Green River on vacation? No. Why? That was just a crazy guy that, that hated women that killed everybody that thought women were just sex toys. They're not? Oof. No. Then what else, what, 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 what do we do with women? That's how we have babies. Isn't it just like you put your dick in a woman to you make... You can't just have sex and then kill somebody. Oh, you killed him? Yeah. Why well, bet that bitch stepped out of pocket? Oof. That's not even right to say. And he's still alive. <laughs> he's nasty. <laughs> Stepped out of pocket. <laughs> you step out of pocket, I'll bust your ass. <laughs> Oof. Obviously, the bitch was out of line. Seriously? She was trying to kill him. I bet she had like AIDS or something. No. How do you know? That's not the way that happened. Did you see the forensic report? Mm-hmm. The toxicology report? Yeah, they were suffocated. And choked. Not by a dick. So stop thinking that. I, why would I think that? Because you're weird. Mm -hmm. And obsessed with dumb shit. What was his name? Hold on. Gary Leon. <laughs> what was it? Ridgeway. Ridgeway. I know because I was I was watching in the background. It's like you guys didn't see me. <sighs> Is that over then? Yeah, it was just a one time episode of Leave. Oh, I thought it started after we were. I noticed you guys were watching that one show called American Ripper that thought uh H. H. Holmes was like Jack the Ripper in London. Yeah, that's interesting. We're still watching that. Oh, I thought it was over. Is it over? There's no more seasons. Oh, it is over. And there's sadly no more seasons. I had someone at cool school call me the Ripper. That's disgusting. But he said I was the Butthole Ripper. Ugh. Oof. He said I was Brad the Butthole Ripper. Well, I'm going to stick my dick in any butthole. I'm sorry. I don't know what we're going to watch now. As a murder shows. Um, Homicide Hunters over the Green River. Well, you still got uh, Fear Thy Neighbor and My Worst Nightmare. Oh, yeah. You guys have been watching. How do you know all this? Because I listen to the vents. Oh, so you go to our bedroom to listen to the vents? No. And while you're stroking your cobra? No, I'm under the house. Oof! That's creepy. And I... I drilled a little hole up and I got this little camera, it's like a little flexible straw and I stick it up, I can control it and I can watch it and it has a little speaker on it or a microphone so I can hear it and watch it while you guys don't even know I'm there. Sometimes I go upside your feet. Why would you want to do that? Because I don't know if you guys are doing the nasty. So what's in your business? Well, I don't have a TV, some TV, sometimes I like to watch TV myself, you know, but you guys are always watching these crazy shows. And you got that one show you got that people are singing with horrible voices. The what? Oh. The ooh. singing shows. I'm like, what the fuck is this goddamn, uh, the sound of music bullshit? I don't like to watch that. You're ridiculous. No, I have busted many a nut to the sound of music. Many a nut. Many a nut. Oof. What? There ain't nothing in that show there where you should make you bust a nut. You know what really turns me on? What? Chitty chitty bang bang. My car's alive. I just want to have sex with it. 
say so I know what to say. You give me a headache. I got a lump. My video is supposed to be to where I can have peace of quiet. I got a lump. Where? Right here. Oof. I don't understand it. What's all this? I dribbled. It, it, it's weird. It's, it's misshapen. You probably played with it too much. There's no such thing as being able to play too much. Kids should be kids. That is not a kid thing. Hmm? <clears throat> and you're way older than a kid. Why come everyone says you're only as old as you feel? Oh, God. Huh? You'll learn in time, son. I'm not like her. Oof. I want to go on my favorite water slide again. Uh, no. What? What's that? When I was born. That's disgusting. It was fun. I came out like tongue tail and shit, and it was cool. And then the doctor held me and spanked my bottom. That is not the way that worked. Yeah, I came out like. Ah! How did it taste? Like copper. Oof. <laughs> That's why I always put pennies in my mouth now. Ew, it's you're weird. weird. It's a weird change to turn on. I suck on pennies. Kind of like some people suck on men's. I like pennies. Like I see one on the ground. I'm just going to pick it up in my mouth. You're weird. Can I go on my favorite water slide? No. Oh. That's off limits since they were born. So they're like a one and done? Yeah. Ew. That sad face don't work with me. Eve! Please, Mom. Now them teeth. I'd cut my labia. Malt liquor is not supposed to make you choke. I thought you didn't like the word labia. I don't. So why'd you say it? Because Vic said always makes me say it. I looked up lady on Google. I bet you did. And I saw a bunch of things that made me want my cobra to spit. Eve! This is the way teenagers think, isn't it? Probably. It's a sad situation. Why you got a lot of lube on the dresser? There is no lube on the dresser. There's banana boat and sport sunscreen lube. Eve, that is not lube. It works just that the same. That is sunscreen. That's why my date never gets sunburned when I'm in the summertime out, son. FFS. You better have fucking swim trunks on. I don't have any of those either. Need to fucking work. Everybody's got to work for their shit. I can't get a job because I don't have any work clothes. That's ridiculous. You spend all your child support on yourself, mm. you raggedy bitch. You're a raggedy bitch for saying that. Your face is a raggedy bitch. Your dad don't even have time to pay child support. Yeah, he does. When? He calls me and tells me he just paid it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where's my bike he bought me? So he, gave, so he gave it to you. Seriously? I heard you pawned it off. <laughs> for drug money. Get the fuck out of here, you dumb You had to go get, shit. you had to score a fucking eight ball. <laughs> well, I don't even know what the fuck that is. Not a pool ball. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Disappointing you, Mom. It's okay. <laughs> mm. I grab my milk jugs. <laughs> Those aren't your milk jugs. Yeah, they are. That's disturbing. I like to put your nipple right here. You are incest, you Right here. Mm, nipple. Oof. Incest? Yeah. We're not even related, you dumb bitch. I know I was adopted. The truth comes out. I saw you on Maury. Oof. Uh, I never go on there. All the 14 guys you took on there were not the father. Then I saw the adoption papers. Seriously? Yeah. Why'd you even adopt me if you want to take care of me? I always take care of you. You bitch. I'll make you fall out of the chair. No, no, no! So I could fuck you. We're not related. 
you aren't going to fuck me. Mm -hmm. Not looking like that. That's not what my chloroform says. Well, you need to get some new clothes and some new teeth and... That's not what my chloroform says. What's that? It's the stuff you drill on a rag and you put over a woman's nose and they go to sleep. No more mur murder shows for you. I'll be dead tomorrow. I'll give you some Benadryl. Eef. Mommy waking up like, why is my ass hurt? I'm like, <laughs> ew, there's a pew on my bottle. I think you should trim those. Think you need to mind your fucking business. You can have the cobra. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty good. Can I have more? No. Can you give me another one? Maybe if you drink another one, then it'd be the other way around. I'd knock you the fuck out. Oh, would you ride me while I was passed out? No. Really? I'd go to sleep. On this dick? No. <laughs> Anyways, I'm... Johnson. <laughs> and I'm Mrs. McSpud. And we'll catch you with you later. Yeah. Tell them. Bye, Mom. Mm.